Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on today? I have another budget projector on the channel. It's 720p native resolution. It's completely affordable. It's good for video gaming and it's by a pretty well-known company. So let's check it out right now in today's video after this short introduction. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel guys, if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button, that bell icon, we do monthly giveaways and you can win something every month simply by being subscribed. Alright, so the projector that we do have right now is by HTLL, pretty good company, they've been around for a while and they've got this really cool looking model. I like the design of this one a lot, first of all, just because it looks nice, it's got the brushed black metal on it, you got your buttons kind of hidden here in the back, so you know what, it would be a lot easier for me to just show you guys in the overhead and then I'll put it up on the big screen so you guys can see the actual quality and image of this projector. Okay, so this is the HTLL HD 800p native resolution projector. The design of it is so sleek looking, so we're gonna pay attention to detail. Really, really nice texture here on the lens. Easily slidable knob. Nice projector lens here. Nice little metallic ring going around the outside. On the back side, you have your VGA input, headphones, audio video input, HDMI 1, HDMI 2, USB 1, USB 2, and then your power source. On the back side, you also have some buttons. You have power, menu, source, left, right, up, down, back button, and an OK button. On the bottom, you've got a little flip down kickstand. You can aim it up at a slight angle if you needed to, if you had this set on top of a table or something. Some other things that you get in the package are an HDMI cable, audio video component cables, old school VGA cables, a power cable, and a nice little black remote controller. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and see what this thing looks like when it performs. I'm going to put it up on the big screen and give you guys a live demonstration right now of some videos and some video games. So here's a quick look at what you get when you first power this projector on. You get a basic home screen, movies, music, photo, or text, and it's at 120 inches up on my living room wall right now, and it still looks very clear. So you guys can see right here a size comparison while I'm up in front of it. I went ahead and hooked up the PS4, played some movies and video games so you guys can see the image quality. Now I think that this looks great. For a 1280 by 800 p native resolution projector, it looks very clear. It's pretty bright. It's an LED projector, and it's said to have 40% more brightness than most of the other ones on on the market but then again that could just be an advertising gimmick but what i will say is that when i'm playing video games on it i really didn't feel too much latency i wanted to test it out playing a little god of war and when i swung the axe it was pretty much right on point so this could be a great option for some of you guys out there who are video gamers this projector does get 30,000 hours of bulb life so you don't have to worry about replacing the lamp or buying a new projector anytime soon once you purchase it and since it's only 200 that's a pretty good deal as far as speaker and fan noise i would say that the speaker on this projector is clear but it's not that loud so you should definitely hook up an external speaker and as far as the fan it's really not that loud it's pretty silent it didn't bother me at all while i was playing games and watching movies so i hope this video helped some of you guys trying to figure out whether or not this projector is the one for you and i hope you can see the quality through this video let me know what you think down below in the comments all right, so there you guys have it. That is the 720p native resolution model from HTLL. Brand new out on the market. A lot of people don't want to spend a ton of money when it comes to projectors. Some people just want to see how it feels to have a home theater set up and they don't want to invest the 600 or 700 or a thousand plus dollars. And this is a really good option to get your foot in the door. So if you're thinking about getting a nice big screen, you guys just saw it for yourselves. It runs games perfectly. If you're trying to play some Fortnite, that's like the number one game in the world right now. Everybody's having fun playing that. I'm enjoying it. This right here could be your best friend. So I'll leave a link down below in the description for this. Check it out. It's new to the market. I was happy to find it. And I think that a lot of you guys would really, really like this one. I get tons of emails all the time. What's the best projector under 200? And every time I get a new model, I mean, the best technically changes because models that come out now might be a little bit better than something that was out six months ago. So I'll continue to keep doing these updates. But check out this one, guys. If you're on the market for 720p, this might be your answer. So I hope today's video was helpful. If it was, please hit that thumbs up down below. It lets me know that I'm doing my job good. And until until next time, I will catch you guys later. My name is Casey Nolan. you got to rotate, and I'm going to get up out of here. Peace. I just found out that I have a donut as my icon, as like my personal avatar when I'm text messaging. I got a text message in the middle of this video, and I was just looking at it. I got a, I got a pink donut? That's, that's what Samsung thinks of me? That I'm a pink donut? What is this? What is, what is this uh, pink donut right here? You guys see that? Zoom in. What the f-